What's up guys, got another video for you here today. I'm finally getting around to doing my shirt collection video that I've kind of been putting off for a little while because I knew I was going to be picking up some stuff from a buddy who's kind of been cleaning out his closet, trying to get rid of a lot of the the merch he has, some of the metal stuff mostly. I bought a shirt that isn't metal as well, but whatever. Um, so today I'm doing my regular t-shirts, the ones that have sleeves. Uh, I will make another video consisting of the cutoffs and the long sleeves and my hats uh that so it's gonna be two parts but uh yeah let's cut on into it we have the winter's wake by elvin king playing in the background um some folky power metal stuff chronos is being a nuisance say hello he's trying to climb into my closet uh the closet under there and uh cause trouble so yeah elvin king some italian power metal as well oh yeah i got somebody else i gotta show you we got another one <laughs> this is fauna she's a sweetheart she is so tiny compared to chronos as you can probably see she's a little over six pounds and chronos is uh, about 12 so they're, they're quite the dynamic duo anyway enough cats this is la fin du monde beer that we're drinking it's a canadian beer um it's called a triple or t-r-i-p-e-l i'm not super familiar with this kind of beer it tastes an awful lot like a farmhouse ale which is cool because i don't drink a lot of those i really only ever get them at breweries but uh a little pricey a little pricey for a beer let me tell you but well worth it so nice All right, I'm ready to go. So, uh, yeah, I've been consciously not wearing metal shirts. You see Mr. Elvis on the t-shirt here. So I could do all of these when they're nice and clean with this big old section right here of sleeve shirts. So uh, let's get into it before I keep yammering on. First one is this Evil Sound Screamers Acid Witch t-shirt. Looks really, really cool. I've always, I really love this design. I don't know where it came from. I think it just is to accompany the album itself. Uh, yeah, get a load of that. I wore this on Halloween last year. That's kind of what I particularly bought it for. I went as Eddie. Uh, next, this Amon of Marth t-shirt. This is the Deceiver of the Gods tour shirt. Uh, I saw them on this tour. I actually have two shirts from this tour. This is one I picked up from my buddy. Really dig this thing here. This is actually the tour that I was viewing that introduced me to Skeleton Witch. Next, this Angel Witch t-shirt. Self-titled Angel Witch. Yes, I know it's very wrinkly. I do not iron anything um, ever. Gotta love Angel Witch. Next, this is Avertia. I don't know how to pronounce the name of this album, but uh, Christoph has told me. I just don't really remember, but Avertia is a really great melodic black metal band from norway he's a long time viewer of the channel as well his album placed on my end of year list last year all that kind of fun stuff next bathory regular goat logo shirt nothing on the back this is a, a classic shirt man i love this thing it's just it fits so well no matter what you're doing you can wear it anywhere you know it's a go to meet this type of shirt i got two shirts from this band begotten this is a canadian DSBM band. This is this one. Uh, the bottom is nothing worth remembering. And then a passage on the back it says, There are no reasons to stay. Life drags ever onward with a mind full of memories and nothing worth remembering. And then this is a, actually probably the cooler of the two. It is when all you've known has winter is winter, um, like the snowy trees with the noose. It's really great Canadian DSBM. If you guys haven't listened to Begotten next sabbath t-shirt this is from the 98 reunion tour i scored this at goodwill great can you call a, a t-shirt from the 90s vintage if so a vintage t-shirt i don't really know but either way next uh this is one from my first concert i ever oh no no this is the end in 2016 t-shirt really love this one the 13 tour 
This is the last Sabbath concert I ever went to, uh, obviously. Next, this is the first concert shirt I ever purchased on the 13 tour back in 2013. Um, really cool Sabbath one. I have a bunch of Sabbath t-shirts. Uh, I think it's four, five, something like that. A white one. This is a, it's a repress of like the 78 tour shirt. Picked this up from my buddy recently as well. I don't really buy white shirts because I'm a filthy human being. Here's another Sabbath shirt. The end tour. Another one from that same tour. Big fan of this one, looks really, really good. Next, switching up the band finally. This is Blind Guardian, a Twist in the Myth t-shirt. Uh, this is actually a tour shirt, but uh, I didn't see them on this tour. I picked this up used at a record store in 2006, I was eight years old. So I definitely didn't, <laughs> I definitely didn't go to this one because mama and dad was not listening to No Blind Guardian, let me tell you that much. Next, logo, Bolt Thrower t-shirt. Gotta love it in white. Nothing on the back, but man, dude, I love Bolt Thrower's logo. I gotta absolutely just give it up to it. I mean, look how cool that is. Quality, quality stuff. Next, I got two shirts from one band from Switzerland, Can Bard. Uh, they're two their first two albums this is nature stays silent t-shirt then a big sigil on the back which is kind of their look and then this is the last rain t-shirt on the back with some text uh now i can see this beautiful world without any trouble painting my own travel and finally my own landscape gotta love it man one of my favorite swiss bands of all time uh, I have a plethora of Cannibal Corpse t-shirts, as you probably all do. The bleeding. Gotta love that classic looking bleeding t-shirt, man. Too, too good. Centuries of Torment, the documentary t-shirt. Picked this up from uh, some dude off Facebook Marketplace. I bought a big lot of stuff off of Marketplace for cheap. Kronos! He's, uh, he's really interested with getting under the stairs. So, a skeletal domain. Picked this up on the tour, uh, Summer Slaughter tour. And then the Torture t-shirt, which is particularly one of the nastier shirts that I own. Gotta love it. One of their better Corpse Grinder albums in my book. What do you guys think of Torture? I'd love to, I'd love to know because everybody's talking about Corpse Grinder albums being like Kill, The Wretched Spawn, Bloodthirst. I don't know, man. I think Torture is great. I mean, I love them all. Uh, I got a Cattle Decapitation t-shirt. Sick Human Ore album cover. This one, uh, <laughs> once people get a look at it, I feel like this is the one I get the most looks for. This Cattle Decap shirt is another one of the particularly gross shirts that I have. Um, but yeah, it's you guys know that record. It's absolutely stellar. These shirts are kind of packed together, so it's taking me a minute, sorry. Next. Oh, we got here. I'll deal with this in a minute. Stuff's falling apart. Put that away. Anyway. <laughs> uh, supporting another channel, Eli. Dark Hymns from the Cold North t-shirt. Great channel, one of my favorites. He just put out a new video about the LLM that I'm a huge fan of. If you guys haven't seen it, I would highly recommend it. Oh, we're a little out of order here. I have all this alphabetized because um, I'm a dork. And this is a Children of Bodom t-shirt. Their first album. Uh, I picked this up when I saw them live a few years ago. I actually particularly went for Lost Society, but... Uh, I've been a Cobb fan for a while. And this Dio Holy Diver shirt, nothing on the back. Classic, classic record. This Druk Autumn Eternal t-shirt. Also just picked this one up from my buddy. Uh, the, the last, the first snow covers dim gold of autumn. Great, great album. 
next dwaros delf t-shirt uh this is a uk based atmosphere kind of epic black metal band really summoning ish good stuff nothing on the back pick this one up for cheap off marketplace as well <laughs> uh next I lost my spot Eldemar, a dark forgotten past t-shirt um a great norwegian atmospheric black metal band emperor wrath of the tyrants t-shirt also picked this one up from my buddy Eamon mule uh, i i never remember the name of this album but it's a really cool red shirt i don't wear a lot of colored shirts so nice to have a change of pace every once in a while exhumed gore metal t-shirt pick this up off canyon bickle uh the saw is the law in the back gotta love it exhumer rising from the sea nothing on the back falls of raros just a, a random design i think uh, I want to say this accompanies uh, Believe It No Coming Shore. It might be The Light That Dwells in Rotting Wood. Or maybe it's Vigilance Perennial. I don't really know. All I know is it's an Austin Lund uh, art piece and a bind room thing on the back. I picked this up when I saw them live up in Minnesota. Really good show. If you guys ever get the chance to catch Falls of Raros live, go do it. Uh, next. This band forces of nature i don't remember where they're from i think it's kansas city missouri or something like that um they're like a death thrash band i saw them they opened up summer slaughter the year that i saw the skeletal domain tour so those what 2016 they're pretty good it's one of those shirts i wear when i like don't care what kind of shirt i have on next forlorn citadel logo t-shirt gotta love it um american usbm Really summoning-ish, really dungeon synth-y. Ghoul t-shirt. Dates on the back. Uh, I opened that show, the Chicago date, December 11th, 2017. And then this Guar t-shirt. Another one of those shirts that I wear when I really don't care what I have on. I saw them back in 2014 with uh, corrosion of conformity, the American sharks, all that kind of stuff. More YouTube support, heavy metallurgy t-shirt. Gotta get it, dude. They're still on the binder inside, as far as I know, if you want one. In streaming, there is no law. Hysterical. Next, Porter, the almighty God t-shirt. This is a Christian black metal band from Mexico. Really, really love this band. Nothing in the back. I ordered a uh, a big like box from them a little while ago, and it took a couple months to get here. International stuff's a pain in the butt. Next, Judas Priest with the Sad Wings of Destiny all over print T-shirt. Uh, it kind of looks like an Affliction shirt, which I have mixed emotions about. Not too keen on that, but the Judas Priest shirt itself is really, really sick. Um, next, another priest t-shirt, just like a, some kind of design with their sigil on the back. Nice t-shirt, casual stuff, nothing too crazy. I'd prefer to have like album cover shirts, but whatever. This is Jungle Rot Tour shirt. My buddy bought this at a show I was with him at. Uh, this was at the last ever Mayhem Fest. Uh, yeah, great shirt, love Jungle Rot gotta give it up for the local groups next creator extreme aggression t-shirt probably my favorite creator record i just feel like i listen to this one more than any of the other ones metallica master of puppets t-shirt i feel like everybody has this t-shirt another one of those where i don't care what i'm wearing kind of day shirts this is a sick one this is a misfits t-shirt but it's specifically for the date that i went to with my fiance nothing on the back um 
yeah, it's, it, I just really dig how this looks. The colors are nice. You know, everybody has a Misfit shirt or two. I feel like you gotta. Next, Moon and Azure Shadow t-shirt logo. This is, uh, I think they're American, but it's like epic black metal, epic atmospheric black metal, lots of dungeon synth. Marty Worm called it winter synth, which I kind of like that term, even though I don't particularly understand what it's supposed to mean. Two obituary t-shirts. Got a Slowly We Rot t-shirt and a Cause of Death t-shirt. How do you say no, man? Absolutely mission critical t-shirts to have. Uh, one of my favorite labels that I worked with or going to be, the Old Mill Productions out of Lindsay, Ontario, Canada. Uh, I, I voted for this t-shirt on a poll on Instagram and it wound up getting printed, so I just had to grab one. Right? Why wouldn't you? That, you gotta support Old Mill, man. They're so good. The whole label's just killer. Next, two Opeth t-shirts. Uh, Deliverance, which is their best album for me, and The Sorceress, uh, the tour shirt for that, and then this is just a, a just a logo shirt, I guess. Or not a logo, just an album shirt. Next. I have a metric load of Panopticon t-shirts, <laughs> which I always forget about. I have... I have eight, and one's a long sleeve, so you won't see that yet. This is the Kentucky shirt that came with the Die Hard box set, or the special edition Die Hard of the reissue. Another one of that Panopticon t-shirt. Uh, I bought it from my buddy because he was getting rid of the t-shirt but not the record. This is a uh, Revisitations of the Past t-shirt. Gotta dig it, man. Uh... On the subject of mortality, duh. Who doesn't recognize that album cover? Or just a great Austin One piece of art with the wolves. I actually almost bought this one when I saw them. Uh, this is the one that I bought at the show. I'm pretty sure a couple of those are from the show as well. And then this is an Autumn Eternal t-shirt uh, in the nor into the North Woods on the back. Really cool. The glittery gold is a mixed emotion for me. But, uh, you know, it's Panopticon, so I'm not going to say anything, really, because I really dig it. I'm trying to be as neat as possible. <laughs> Pit Lord. Iowa-based death metal. Absolutely stellar, like, grill-themed death metal. I see Ben Smasher talking about this band all the time, which is funny because I didn't know that he knew who they were. Uh, but I saw them live, and I was just, I loved it. I thought it was hysterical. This is a Ramones t-shirt, technically not metal, but uh, I dig it. It's cool that the logo's on the bottom and the design's up top. A little different, you know. I got two Revocation t-shirts. Actually, I have more, but one's a cutoff. Cool. Uh, Arbit oh, Arbiters of the Apocalypse, which is one of the tracks. Nothing on the back of this one. This one might wind up losing its sleeves, we'll see. This is Rua from Scotland, uh, atmospheric black metal. Absolutely a killer, killer band. I didn't dig this record all that much when I first heard it. Kind of growing me, it's the first one of the three that they have. They've only gotten better, but it's, uh, it's another one of those great Northern Silence bands. Two, speaking of Northern Silence, from Sayor, Guardians and Roots t-shirts. Gotta love it. Pick these up from Facebook Marketplace as well. Here's a uh, one of the particularly cooler shirts that I own in my book. This is never mind the Bullocks. Here's the Sex Pistols. A big yellow. Yeah, my fiance picked this one up for me uh, for Christmas, I think it was, or maybe my birthday. She picked it up with that Dio shirt. I, I really dig it. Six Feet Under t-shirt, 10 years in the grave or a decade in the grave or whatever. T-shirt, you guys know Six Feet. Next, Skeleton Witch Forever Abomination t-shirt. One of my favorite bands of all time. Nothing on the back. Everybody has to have a mandatory Slayer t-shirt. I picked this up when I saw them live. I think I have another Slayer shirt, or maybe I threw it out because it got all tore up. I don't know. 
but uh, Sodom and the sign of evil. Nothing on the back of this is HHR. The Streeborg, a procession of lost souls t shirt. Absolutely love Streeborg's uh, black metal stuff. His new stuff's hysterical, but it's not good. Two t shirts from The Almighty Suffocation. Pierce from Within. And, you know, I forgot the name of this record. I think it's on the back. Uh, Place of Bedlam or Pinnacle of Bedlam. I don't know. I don't really know this record all that much. I just picked it up from my buddy. Uh, but yeah, got to have the Suffo shirts. Two Testament t shirts Dark Roots of the Earth and The New Order. Another one of my favorite bands of all time. Nothing on the back. Ah, oh, dude, one of the best thrash bands ever. Un inarguably, probably my favorite, Them or Lost Society. My buddy's band, Triguna, with a maladaptive t-shirt. Technical death metal, progressive, jazzy death metal from uh, Illinois. Typo negative, Bloody Kisses t-shirt. Got this from Rock America, surprisingly. Just walking to a mall, and I think I saw it on the wall, and it brought me in, or something like that. Winter Phyleth, uh, the Dark Hereafter t-shirt. One of my favorite logos in all the black metal. And these last two here is a Winter Sun t-shirt with tour dates on the back. I didn't go to the tour again. It was before my time. And then the last one is a Woman is the Earth t-shirt. Um, this is from the show that I went to as well. So I'm going to call it on that one, guys. I've been standing here playing with t-shirts for far too long. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Keep it greasy.